John, back to the stadium tomorrow for a game against um, Edinburgh City. It's been a, a tough few weeks away from home, um, but come through it, nine points out of a possible nine, and um, it's got the potential to be a, a special day tomorrow. I know you're just focusing on yourself and what you can do, but you know it, it could be potentially a, a big one. Well, you're right, certainly about the... the The away games, you know, some really difficult away games. Uh, Cove, uh, again, played really well up there. Took us a long time to get the winner, but we played really well. Still in again, it was a very difficult game, but the guys, you know, found a way to win. And uh, and last week, you know, we go behind, and the guys showed some amazing character and mentality to, to bounce back. And uh, absolutely delighted with, with that. You know, the wins we had away from home. You're right, we're back at the stadium where we've been playing well all season. We look to play well tomorrow. <clears throat> Edinburgh, I think they're a better team than their league position we show. They're a, a, a group of young guys that are they've been actually playing some really good football, no necessarily getting the results. But we've got to be careful because obviously we were 2-0 down against them in Edinburgh not so long ago. And even the game out here, uh, early in the season, it wasn't a, a walk in the park. You know, we had to we had to dig in to, to win that game. So we will not take uh, Edinburgh lightly at all. So I'm only looking at us, you know, that's all we can do. Uh, we've got to be right at it tomorrow. We can't be looking and saying, oh, we're top of the table, they're bottom of the table, so we'll, we'll win. We, can, we can't turn up with that. We've got to be on it. We've got to be looking to play well. We've got to put a performance on that will create opportunities, will create chances. And, you know, the more we create, the more likelihood you have, you've got to score. And so we want to, we want to do that. We've not been giving up an awful lot. So again, we need to be uh, concentrated at the back. We need to be aggressive. We need to be determined. Uh, you know, both, both with, without the ball, uh, you know, uh, positive on the ball. We've got to be uh, at times patient, but at the same time looking to where we can exploit Edinburgh. Uh, they, on the other hand, last week, uh, they, they played some nice football, scored a really good goal. Yeah, this was the downside for, for Michael would be the five goals that are lost. So that's where we've got to try and cash in, you know, uh, against Hamilton just two or three weeks earlier. You know, it was a different sort of situation. They, they lost 1-0. And Hamilton, as we know, Hamilton's a good side. And so uh, all the stats in that game were very tight. So we will not disrespect Edinburgh at all. It will make no difference to them that they're officially relegated now. They've been unofficially relegated for some time. They were never ever getting that back uh, with a points deduction. But and they've got guys that are... Uh, out and loan from clubs who are trying to make their way in the game and they are out trying to impress and in some way no better place to do it here in front of you know 6,000 uh, fans and uh, you never know who's watching a game and so that's why these players will be out trying to impress so we've got to make sure that we are very much on it and uh, we want it like every game you want to get out of the blocks you want to get a good start you want to put them on the back foot we want to get ourselves in front we ideally want to try and control the game and it would be nice to uh, be in a position, uh, you know, getting subs on and, and finishing the game on a high. You mentioned uh, 6,000 fans and for tomorrow's game we've, we've opened the, the North Stand up to fans as well. Um, must feel really good for you guys that the demand's there that um, we're having to open more sections. Yeah, well, I'm absolutely delighted. You know, we've got ourselves in a situation and uh, thank every fan that's coming along tomorrow and all the fans that have been here all season that have been backing us. Um, we're very proud of that. Um, the, uh, the players have been magnificent. And, uh, it's all about what's happening on that pitch. That's why the fans are turning up because what they're what they're producing on that pitch and what they've produced all season. And that's why the fans are fans are coming out. You know, so we're delighted about that. Uh, hopefully, we can go and put a performance on that will get us the three points. We have no control about anything else. We're just concentrating on us doing that. Uh, and that will take a big effort. You know, and it'll take a big effort. And hopefully, the fans coming along will back the team as I've done all season uh, there's been some great noise creating a great atmosphere which is invaluable for our players to have that encouragement uh, got us through in games so yeah looking forward to it going into the game tomorrow I'm assuming the squad's just kind of looking at the same as it was going into to Queen of the South um, I think you mentioned that Tom Lang was going for a, a scan are you able to update us on, on that situation yeah Tom did go for a scan 
last Monday and it wasn't good news. Uh, he's got a tear on his meniscus, which will certainly rule him out for the rest of the season. We've got time to rehab that. Uh, all the, you know, the, 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 end of the, rest of the season, the rest of the season and over the close season. So there's a fair amount of time there. So hopefully he's going to come back for pre-season training, 100% ready to go. But, you know, it's a blow for Tom, a massive blow for Tom. It's a blow for the team because he's done so well in the team. But he's such a committed boy and he would want to be out there on the pitch right to the end of the season, playing in every game. And, uh, you know, hopefully picking up, you know, a winner's medal uh, for all the effort and everything that he's put in. Uh, so it's up to, you know, in recent weeks, Liam Henderson's went and stepped in and done really, really well. I've got a little doubt on Liam himself. He's got a, a calf strain, so we'll need to see how that goes. And, uh, you know, but like all these scenarios, you know, you know, one door closes, another door opens. It's up to somebody else to come in and, and uh, fit the bill and, and do the job. Absolutely, John. Thank you very much and um, good luck for, this, for tomorrow. Thank you.